guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my October favorites so stick around if you want to watch okay I actually don't have a whole lot of favorites this month I've been fairly busy so I haven't had a whole lot of time to try new products although I have a whole lot of new products I just haven't had try time to I haven't had time to truly test them so I have a few things that are kind of new, kind of not, but things that I haven't really been using that much and I just started using this month. So I'm going to start with the lip products because I have three favorite lip products this month. And I'm going to start with the glosses. The first is a Sigma lip gloss in the shade, which shade is this? Tranquil. And it's such a really pretty mauve nude color. It's almost the same color as my shirt. Super pretty and the finish is beautiful. It's like a cream finished gloss. It doesn't have any shimmer to it whatsoever. And it looks to be like it'd be a super, where we are, come on, can I focus? It looks to be like it'd be a super, super um, thick and sticky lip gloss, but in reality, it's not. Um, and the applicator is like this kind of brush tip looking applicator. It's not your typical dofo applicator, which at first I was a little iffy about because I'm not the biggest fan of brush applicators, but this is very nice and stiff. And you guys, this smells so good. I can't even describe the scent, but it smells so good. If you guys hear noise in the background, it's my dog going crazy. So pretty. That's the color right there. This is super pigmented for a lip gloss. I love this lip gloss and I'm definitely looking forward to trying more of their glosses. So yeah, that's the Sigma lip gloss in. Can you see that? Because it has got like a dual chrome kind of packaging uh, on the letters and tranquil. So that's my first lip product favorite of the month. The next lip gloss is actually a NYX Butter Gloss, and it's in the shade Devil's Food Cake, I believe. Yep. I love this color. At first, when I saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, that's going to be super, super dark. Because I know most butter glosses, NYX Butter Glosses, are pretty opaque and pretty true to color. But this actually is beautiful. It is dark. I mean, it's not sheer by any means. It is opaque. It's more on the purple side than it would be anything else. That's it right there, right next to Twinkle. But it's so pretty. Topped with like a super dark, bold lip. Oh, it's just beautiful. I wore this with what lipstick was it? Was it Rebel? I think it might have been Max Rebel and it was just a beautiful combination. I loved it. I think it is because I have a picture on Instagram. And I wore like a lip liner and Rebel and then this topped with it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I think it was probably one of my favorite lip combinations that I've done so far. Not that I've done many because I'm not, I'm not the type that layers, you know. Oh, I'm going to do this lip pencil and then this lipstick and this gloss and blah, blah, blah. Like I'm just not that type of person. That's just too much work for me. It's probably just laziness, but I, I'm just not going to carry around like five different lip products just to touch up, you know, that's just not me, but yeah, I did love that lip uh, color combo. If I can find a picture, I will insert it somewhere in the video, but love this lip gloss. As any uh, NYX Butter Gloss, they are just so comfortable to wear so nice and just I want to say they're pretty long lasting for a lip gloss so I really enjoy those and the next lip product is a creamy matte lipstick from the Maybelline new Maybelline matte line I did a review on these and I'll link it down below for you guys in case you haven't watched that but I am talking about the color divine wine this is such a stunning vampy color it is gorgeous and oh, I just I love it I can't I have enough of it if I could wear this every day and not get looked at weird at work I probably would 
but <laughs> since I work in a very, you know, kind of professional environment, I um, can see a lot of people. I really can't. But um, yeah, that's the color right there. It, it is a very dark and vampy color, but it leans more towards the red side of the spectrum, which you guys know I'm not very comfortable wearing reds, but this color is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The formula is amazing. I raved about these so much in that video. Um, okay, just love moving these. on to the next few products I have. They're all eye products. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of favorite, a whole lot of favorites this month. But uh, an oldie but a goodie in my collection, something that I've had for quite some time. And I always confuse this for the Maybelline eyeliner, but it's actually the L'Oreal eyeliner. I think I might have told people that my favorite was like my the Maybelline eyeliner gel eyeliner. I've never tried that one. I actually mean the L'Oreal. Oops. But I am talking about the L'Oreal Lacquer Liner 24 Hour L'Oreal Infallible blah blah blah. It has like 500 I have names this in the shade Blackest Black and it's super super dark and it hasn't dried out on me. I've had it for quite some time and I've just loved this. I've been kind of on this winged liner or just typical eyeliner and bold lips. Uh, kick lightly except for today I did kind of go do some eyeshadow but yeah it's just so easy and classic and kind of been my go-to for these last few weeks if you know we have to be somewhere and I don't know what to wear or I don't know what to do with my eyes I just kind of go for winged liner and a bold lip or whatever you know it's just you can't get enough of winged liner looks right so this has been one of my favorites, and I can't remember the name of the brush that I use. It's from, I believe it's from Crown Brush, and I don't know if it has a name or not because it came in the set, but I really, really love using that brush for the this gel eyeliner, and I really, really like it. Super easy. It's an angled brush. It's super, super stiff, and I wish I had it within reach, and I would show you guys, but it's probably sturdy anyway, so... That's been another favorite. And the next favorite has been also something that's been in my collection for quite some time and I just rarely reach for. And it's the another L'Oreal product. Uh, one of the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows and this is in the shade Iced Latte. I've had this for quite some time but honestly I just, I never, for some reason, I just never reach for my loose eyeshadows or like my little um, kind of pigments that I have from what's the name brand oh I just went blank but I like rarely reach for them I don't know what it is I just I just don't and I'm trying to make it a mission to use them because they're just sitting there and not getting used and they're all beautiful colors so this one was one that I reached for the most this month and still not a dent in it whatsoever this is gonna last me years <laughs> but this is such a beautiful color I love it it's such an easy eyeshadow if that makes sense because you can apply this with your fingers just put it you know just throw on a warm brown on your crease and this all over your lid some wing liner and lipstick and you're good to go so that's the color right there. I'm sure everybody knows what this looks like because this is like a cult favorite among the beauty bloggers and vloggers. You see that? That's a gorgeous. It's a beautiful. So that's been something I've been reaching for a lot lately and I am obsessed with okay, it. Okay, and my last favorite is actually an eyeshadow palette and I'm not sure if I've showed this in another favorites post or video. I believe I have because it's nothing that's super new to me but I just never reach for it because I've been kind of getting other palettes or like I said earlier I just haven't been on an eyeshadow kick lately I've just kind of been oh like nothing has inspired me to pull out my palettes and kind of play around or I've just been too busy for it so one of my go-to's go-to palettes lately has been the chocolate, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, 
One, because it's so easy to use. I mean, all of these colors are so beautiful and neutral that it's just easy and kind of common sense. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just so common sense to reach, grab it, grab a few shades, throw them on, and you're good to go. Um, so I think that's why I've kind of been reaching for it. And number two, because it's just a beautiful palette. I mean, it's just stunning. And it smells good. How can you not? You see that? Yeah. Oh, Come here, Charlie. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, this has been uh, another favorite of mine. And I just got lipstick all over my pants okay yeah this has been another favorite of mine this month just classic eyeshadow palette i think everybody needs to own it especially if you're a neutral lover you will find just about any neutral shade you need in here with a few pops of colors there's a really gorgeous like kind of bluish purpley shade right in there the lighting is just not doing it justice, of course. But it is just a beautiful, beautiful color that I actually haven't used that much. So, like I said, I've just been kind of meh. Bleh. Not in the mood, but... Some beauty vlogger, blogger I am. I have lipstick all over my hands. Time to get rid of these swatches. <laughs> but yes, that those have been my favorites for the month of October. I would love to know what your favorites have been this past month, because we're now in November. Um, and yeah, oh, another thing. I don't know if you guys noticed. I cut off all of my hair. I have super short hair now. It's Okay, it's not super short, but it's short for me because I've never had it this short. I think I was like three years old when I last had it this short, but I cut off 15 inches and I will be donating it, or I donated it to beautiful Pantene Beautiful Wings. And yeah, it was something that I've been wanting to do for a super long time. I just either didn't have my hair long enough to do it, or I just hadn't worked up the courage to do it. So I finally said, you know what? My hair is too long. I need to cut it anyway. I'm just going to cut it all off and donate it. And yeah, it was something that I guess I could just check off my bucket list and say that I've done. And it's also all for a good cause. So if you've been wanting or thinking about doing it, I highly suggest that you look into it. Um, I know Locks of Love does it. That's what it is. Locks of Love. Yeah. <laughs> I was originally going to donate to them, but I ended up donating to Pentine beautiful links just because um of some things that I read up online but anyway uh definitely look into it and I highly 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 suggest it it really does kind of just make you feel better you know you did something good for somebody out there and hopefully um it'll make somebody else smile you know and make their day so that's just something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and I'm so glad I finally did it and I think I will probably want to do it again just because of it's just something so selfless that you can do for somebody else and I don't know it's just a, a good good all-around experience so um and hair is just hair it'll grow back so yeah those have been my favorites and you know my hair I guess you can add that as a favorite because it's been a challenge trying to kind of style it and curl it because I was so used to curling an extra 15 inches of hair and not burning my fingers and now it's hard to kind of wrap this around a wand and try to curl it but yeah that's it for you guys I sorry this video is so long but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you